Now let's have a look at purpose of apex testing. Let's go through some of the reasons because of which we should do apex testing. Number one, ensure that all the configuration you have built in Salesforce are working as per your, as per the specification or as per the requirements. Of course, this is the major thing because of which we do testing. Next, to create robust, long-lasting system that your customers can rely on. So yeah, I mean, if you're just creating a system, uh, it needs to be like, it needs to be very well architected uh, and it should serve the customers at the end of the day. And this is something that, should be, uh, that, the, that your customers should rely on, right? And it's very important. To ensure that there are no scenarios that are unhandled, right? Uh, there are some, so when a developer is writing a particular code, all what they are thinking about is the solution of a particular problem and they just write down the code just like that. But the major problem happens when the when there are different, different scenarios based on which the program will get executed and might result into something that can create a problem later on. So the developers will not consider all the scenarios until unless it will be uh, the, the code will be very well tested. And if the code will be very well tested, then only the developers will think about all the different scenarios and they'll write down the code according to all the different scenarios. So it's important to uh, make developers consider all the different scenarios rather than just focusing on the solution to the particular problem, right? So that's why we should do Apex testing. Next, to ensure that there are no errors uh, which you might have missed in the code. So there are some situations because of which an error can occur into the code uh, which developers have not considered uh, and for which we should do Apex testing. Next, to find any errors or unexpected behaviors in the code. Same thing, different language. Note, in Salesforce, if the Apex code is not properly tested, it can't be deployed to the production environment. So this is a major reason why a lot of people, even they do not like to do Apex testing, do the Apex testing because at the end of the day, it should be deployed into the production environment and any code which is not tested uh, into the development environment or into the sandbox cannot be deployed into the production environment. So Salesforce itself makes it mandatory for you to uh, test the code before deploying it into the production environment.